it's obvious people want Intel to do well, so we have another competitor in the space. Up and we're getting errors in the menu. We're definitely frozen here. How do you look at that? A GPU, A770 graphics driver, completely frozen. So I guess we start off like this, huh? Not the best way to try to beat Nvidia. But if the GPU isn't stable or reliable, what's the point of having another GPU player in the game? That's gonna be one of the biggest things that Intel has to do. And they're a huge corporation, so they're not exactly an underdog. And even though the drivers are getting better, do you really wanna buy a product that has these many issues when it first comes out? That's why it's been a sketchy GPU, but for a few months, by the time the drivers catch up to the performance, it's gonna be time for a new generation of GPUs like the RTX 4060. Very hard to catch up to in video. People have been making videos on it saying, oh, the drivers are updated. It's 350 bucks. This is gonna be the highest end one. Is it worth it for around that price where you can easily find RTX 3070s basically all day for similar pricing? We're gonna throw on, this is gonna be Plague Tale Requiem 2560 by 1440. So the resolution optimizer, let's put it to balanced, but then let's leave everything on ultra, maybe just turn off ray tracing. So yeah, we're getting a, above 60 frames per second. So that's definitely not that bad at all. And we're basically all on ultra. It dips a little bit below 60, but overall staying pretty good. But we turn on ray tracing. Okay, so we drop maybe 10 frames per second on average. The most it can go, ultra quality. Ray trace shadows on. Now ultra quality. Now this goes down to like 30 frames per second. So not very playable. So this is the new Dead Space remake. We're going to do 1440p. Kind of froze a little bit here. Let's put the graphics quality on high. This game's menu has a lot of freezing. See, look, I can't even move anything. In the menu, we're definitely frozen here. Oh, we're getting errors already. Look at that. So this is on high settings. I put it on full screen mode. It's not letting me go. I don't know if it's an Intel Arc thing. Um, this is going to be FSR balanced. I mean, even here, we're getting some really nasty drops. Look at that. Hmm, definitely not playing very well in this particular game. So this is now Cyberpunk at 1440p on high AMD FSR, which is important in this game or else it's going to be way too low, around 60 frames per second. And it, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's not quite as clear as if, you know, you were doing straight without any type of the upscaling. Let's see how it does with ray tracing. Let's put ray tracing on low. All right, so you get a, a nice little drop here at around 45 frames. So maybe like a drop of 15 frames. Maybe the lighting does look a little bit better. Not too sure I would play with ray tracing here or else it's way too much of a compromise. Let's see if you max it out, ray tracing ultra, and you turn the scaling off. Not something you would do, but look at that. It drops all the way down to like 15 frames per second. Like obviously unplayable, you know, that's pretty terrible. But then if we turn FSR on, she makes a pretty big difference. Let's turn it on ultra performance. Then you get closer to like 42 frames per second, but then the game doesn't look nearly as good. You can see it's really trying hard to upscale everything. A lot of things are kind of like pixelized and a little blurry, maybe even ultra and then balanced. And that will give you pretty decent performance. That's maybe like 50 frames per second. So I think high is where you want to be, but that's not too bad. Intel Arc, especially the A770, it's definitely fun to play around with, but I'm not too sure I would recommend it for somebody who wants to use it as a, a real gaming GPU. 